I joined the dark side. Well, sort of. What is good, YouTube? It's that one camera guy, back at it again with another video for you. In this episode, I do an unboxing of a camera and lens that some of you will be surprised of. Let's get started. I want to let you know I've gotten so many comments in the past that Sony's phony, Sony's junk, things, and a lot of negative comments about Sony in general. And folks always saying, go to Nikon, go to Fuji, uh, etc. So, let's see what's in the box. Now, first of all, as I'm getting this open here for you, I got this from the B&H loan program, okay? Full disclosure, there isn't, um, what's really cool about the loan program is that they send out equipment for me to review, and I'll be reviewing the equipment that's in this box. And really, it's stuff that I would never really be able to review it without the program. So it's something I'm just, something new with them, and I'm very thankful for them giving me this opportunity. So. All right, first, first up on here. Wow, this is a massive box. Okay, here we go. Here's the Nikkor or Nikkor 70-200 um, EDVR Mark II. I don't know if this is the most brand new one, but it's one of them. And then we have the Nikon. D500. I've never actually held my hands on a D500. I don't think I have, and I haven't shot with one. Now, to be to be clear, I haven't. Um, I have used uh, Nikon cameras before. I've used the Nikon D7100 for a few months. Uh, my class, we have a set of Nikon D5200s. I even made a YouTube video on how to shoot video with your Nikon D5200. So I'm not unfamiliar with the company and the brand. And I really don't have anything completely negative to say about Nikon. It was just that I made the decision to go with um, Canon early on because of the video side of things. But photo-wise, image quality-wise, Nikon was always something I always relished um, back in that time frame. Sony now in the game has changed things, but let's go ahead and do the unboxing for the Nikkor lens and let's take a look. So this box is pretty big. I think it's, it's a little bit bigger than the Canon one and feels heavier too, so. Let's go ahead and take a look. This isn't some sort of like expert unboxing. It's, um, yeah, we got like a little strap here for the lens. There's like a manual inside. It's not important. We're not gonna worry about it. So here is, comes in a bag or a case with most lenses do that are kind of expensive. And inside, here we go. We got some foam in there. And here is the lens. Let's go and take it out. I haven't used this particular lens before, so this is my first time. And here it is. Let me go ahead and hold it up for you so you can see the information there. Really clean lens, feels really good. As far as all of this stuff, it's just initial impressions so far. Here's the glass right there. Here it is with the lens hood. And there you go. 7200. Now let's go ahead and jump to the Nikon D500. Here we go. Let me go ahead and put some stuff away first. All right, so the Nikon D500, a lot of great things about this camera, and that's the reason why I chose it first as far as wanting to try it out and review the actual camera. I will be do some, doing some comparisons with the Alpha 6500, um, although price-wise, they're not a fair comparison, but I think they kind of fall in that realm. And we'll also be taking a look at A9 versus D500 maybe later on when I get my copy of the A9 in. Um, but here we go. Here is the box, the Nikon D500. Take a look at the side. We got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, HDMI, all that fun stuff. Tells you what's included in here on the back. And has a little sticker there, Nikon's 100th year anniversary. 
really, really great stuff. A little fun fact, I almost got like a Nikon D610 some time ago. Um, that was a while back, but yeah. And I was just jealous of the 36 megapixels that Nikon had, so yes. So here we go. We're gonna get manuals. They're not really the most exciting thing. I'll put those aside. And here we go. All right, let's take a look what we got here. We got Nikon strap here. Battery charger, which will come in handy. We've got USB 3 cable. All right, great. Um, you can convert the cable to be able to plug to the outlet, I guess. Here's the battery. And I think this is like an HDMI, HDMI holder. I think this little plug there. So I'll put all that stuff back in real quick. And here is the camera. All right, so here we go. Nikon D500. There it is. Wow. There's a little tiny uh, thing there for downloading the SnapBridge app, which I am definitely going to be using. I'll try it out on the field. I'm gonna be shooting some baseball actually today, or depending on when you see this video, and some track and field and some other events that I can get to. But here's the camera, the Nikon D500. Um, man, it is, you know, I really like Sony. Like I said, I like the, the technology that's in there. But you just kind of miss the ergonomics and the feel of using a DSLR. It, it's really nice. Um, I never noticed that there. Okay, cool. Again, the screen comes out for those of you that are not familiar with it. It's not fully articulating, but at least it comes out, which by the way, on the Sony cameras, that stuff's really handy. Joystick back here on the camera and man, really, really great feeling camera. Yeah, that is it. That's the unboxing. Let me go ahead and mount the Nikon 70 to 200 on here real quick. There we go. There it is. The thing I forgot to mention um, was that I went ahead and bought an actual XQD card because uh, these things weren't included with the um, uh, from B&H. So I went ahead and bought a 128 gigabyte XQD card. And yeah, it is a little bit pricey, but we'll see how this goes. I might as well just unbox it here. Here is the card. I have not held an XQD card before. This will be the first time that I've had to see one. And it's Definitely bigger than an, an SD card, a little heavier, but uh, it's still very compact. So this is one of the fastest cards available for XQD. I wanted to make sure I got the fastest card possible to make sure I didn't slow down the D500. I doubt I'm gonna hit a buffer limit with the camera, but I wanted to make sure I got the best cards available for it for testing, because I didn't want that to be a factor when using the camera. So that's the card. Well, folks, I'm very, very excited about the upcoming testing and review that I'm going to be doing on the Nikon D500 with the comparison to the Sony system and seeing uh, how well they do. Obviously, it's a different breed of camera. Obviously, it's a DSLR. So I am very excited to see how it goes. If you're curious to see how that goes, don't forget to make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you did like this unboxing, go ahead and give it a like. And with that said, I'm your host, Dalwin Camera Guy, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.